Hello everyone, hello YouTube, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you more news brought to you by Preferred Currency News or PCN.today or Preferred Currency News. okay? So this is a website, right? So just visit this website if you're bored and if you want to read the latest news on cryptocurrencies Okay, so it's called PCN.today. Alright, so India Big Four. Auditor EY to hire 2K employees to develop in blockchain AI. So Big Four Auditor Ernst and Young will hire 2,000 employees in India to expand its digital solution services across blockchain. Artificial Intelligence or AI Automation and Tax Technologies The news was first reported by English language Indian news outlet The Economic Times and posted to EY in this official Twitter November 23 According to the Times, EY will be recruiting the new talent over the next three years in parallel to its global plans to invest $1 million in new technologies, client services, innovation, and the EY ecosystem over a two-fiscal year period as of July 2018. Ram Servipali, leader of EY Advisory Services India and partner of EY Emerging Market Center, has contextualized the auditor's bid to pursue blockchain and other bleeding edge technologies in India as part of a wide ranging digitalization and automation trend across both government and private sector. So there is a significant capital available for new startups and big Indian companies are investing in digital. This is tri triggering a massive opportunity and a need for hiring digital talent. The digital governance and citizen services are themes that almost every state is focusing on. So EY reportedly has over 2,200 people working on digital and technology solutions across service lines in India. And the auditor is said to have hired several um, new partners to expand its capacity in technology consulting. According to the Times, the auditor is the market leader in advisory services in India, working with over 100 local partners and seeing a steady increase in large-scale complex innovation projects. Okay, so as a Cointelegraph analysis piece outlined in October, EY has been working to legitimize and foster enterprise blockchain adoption at scale by developing sector-specific auditing tools such as its in-house block explorer dubbed EY Blockchain Analyzer. The auditor has also conducted research into blockchain-based platforms and crypto-related models, recently identifying and reporting risks around digital coin offerings, or ICO in particular. As reported this fall, Fintech solutions are thriving under the aegis of the Indian government's Digital India campaign, most recently with the launch of a new nationwide digital payments project from Hitachi Payments and the State Bank of India or SBI. Okay, so that is my first news or my first update. Okay, so the second one is SBI Ripple Asia, Japan Payment Card Consortium partner on blockchain system to fight fraud. Okay, SBI Ripple Asia and the Japan Payment Card Consortium have announced a joint proof of concept or POC to combat combat fraud with blockchain technology, according to an official release published November 16. According to the news release, the POC will be conducted in R3's blockchain platform, Corda, 
and will aim to prevent damage wrought by fraudulent transactions by enabling the real-time sharing of data between parties using blockchain. So the Japan Payment Card Consortium counts nine major credit card issuers, including American Express or Amex, Credit Saison and Toyota Finance, and two payment card technology providers as members. So SBI Ripple Asia is a joint venture from Japanese financial services giant SBI Holdings and blockchain firm Ripple that has been working to advance blockchain powered solutions for the financial and enterprise sector since its establishment in 2016. Corda has reportedly been chosen for the POC due to its data privacy and security setup. The release outlines the data in the system is to be shared only with those that have a need to know. Each company will own a quarter node and will like each and while each company implements its own security policy, the data sharing among the nodes is secured by Corda. Japanese IT services provider TIS, which is a member of the RT consortium, will reportedly develop a secure and scalable information sharing system for the POC on the basis of Corda. Although at the POC stage, information will be shared only between the participant card companies, the consortium says it will consider extending data sharing to a broader range of parties, such as merchants and payment service providers, or PSPs, in future. In the name of being, in the name of better protecting against fraud industry wide. Okay. So Holy Hewlett Packard Enterprise or HPE's Mission Critical Distributed Ledger Technology (DLT) Lab has been chosen as a secure host environment for testing the new PLC. As reported in October, SBI Ripple Asia's cons consumer-focused payments app MoneyTap has recently gone live after successfully securing a license from domestic financial regulators. Also last month, Cointelegraph reported on Japanese car manufacturing giant Toyota's partnership with blockchain ads analytics firm Lucidity to tackle fraud in the advertising industry. Okay, so those were the two main updates. Okay, so these are very, very nice news and interesting news for the blockchain. Um, Okay, so more and more companies are embracing blockchain technology, right? So, okay, guys. So, guys, um, also visit usemarket.biz. Okay, so this website is a website where you can find different links and how you can um, use your EOS, and also you can earn EOS. So this website, this one. So let's open this one. So it's called airwaymarket.com. So airwaymarket.com is a website where you can exchange your EOS for airfare tickets. So this is um, this website offers up to 70% discounts on their tickets. Okay. So here it is. The next one is this one. So these two websites are marketplace websites where you can buy and sell using cryptocurrencies. So like what they say, buy low, sell high. So as you can see, there are also a lot of items here already. Okay. So this one, so use marketplace. See, so use marketplace is a website where you can find different items. See, right? The next one is this one. So this is marketplace.pcn.today. So, right? And the next website is preferredcurrency.news. So this website is a newsletter website where you get notified of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies through email, right? And of course, PCN.today. 
and you can find the latest um, I, other useful links also here so this one is a link will that will redirect you to the list of all the EOS tabs and all the new EOS tabs this one is the tool where you can monitor your registered sections this one is uh, uh, the link well that will redirect you to the list of the upcoming and latest ES airdrops and this one is the list of all the airdrops and all the other cryptocurrencies okay so guys um, I think that's it so before I go I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is our recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself okay so guys always also um, um, include this one in your research list so this is dab coin so this is their website so it's the coin of transportation it's a blockchain based transportation protocol enabling a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer global transportation network so as you can see um, you can find here their protocols so just click this one okay so dab so also if you're an EOS holder you can join this um, podcast and videos telegram group okay so get new ideas and if you want to join initiative queue you can use my invite link below and also um, you want to get rewarded in crypto download the muse.io okay guys so um, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe okay so this has been Vic once again, bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies. Signing off. Bye-bye.